Fans from all over the world are joining us here at the New Japan Dojo in Southern California for uh, Strong Style Saturday, of course, precursor of tomorrow's Strong Style Evolve event in Long Beach. And my guest at this time here on New Japan World is Scorpio Sky, who is one of the trainers here at the dojo. Uh, man, it's a brand new facility, but it's got a real old school vibe. And what you and Shibata are putting together in just the first week of these uh, of the camp, that's amazing. Congratulations. How does it feel to be here and to be doing this? It's an honor for me to be here, actually. Um, obviously, I grew up a huge fan of New Japan Pro Wrestling. And to be chosen as one of the trainers is like, you know, it's, it's beyond words. And what we're doing here, I think, is special and different. We've got the old Japanese dojo style, but with a little bit of a new flavor. We've put in a little bit of CrossFit and some circuit training. And so we've got new and old mixed perfectly to hopefully produce some great competitors. We had the chance to uh, sit down with Katsuyori Shibata and kind of get his feelings and his mindset about what you guys are doing here. But talk to me about getting to work with Shibata and, and what he brings as the head coach here. I consider myself a very detail-oriented person, looking at the little things, uh, and he's the same way, but to the next level. So when I would look at inches, he's looking at centimeters or millimeters of things. And so it actually even improves my performance as a trainer as a wrestler and just as a person growing in this amazing business. Shibata is, is brilliant. Mm -hmm. he, he truly is brilliant. I've had some time to spend a couple of weeks with him and just kind of sit under the learning tree. The language barrier, no issue? No, I, I noticed actually very early on when it comes to wrestling, the language barrier isn't that big of a, you know, it, it's not a big of a hindrance. You know, Wrestling is wrestling, a headlock's a headlock, an arm bar is an arm bar. And there might be a few hiccups here and there where we need to bring in a translator, but we still kind of understand each other and I think we connect pretty well. So uh, as I mentioned, the first week-long uh, training camp just wrapped up yesterday and uh, it was a group of athletes from all over the world, uh, athletes from as close as Southern California, as far away as Egypt, uh, and, uh, and all points in between. Kind of uh, give your summary and your thoughts on the first group as a whole. What did they bring in? Uh, what did they learn? What was the big takeaway from the first week? I think they knew coming into it they were going to have to work hard. I don't know if they knew how hard they actually were going to work. Mm -hmm. Because we put them to work, uh, especially for those first few days. You wanted to see who really, really wants it and who just wants to say they did it. You know, and this is, this is New Japan. This is a very hard style and a very traditional style. So um, I'm very happy though with what the results we got. I'm really happy with how hard everybody worked. And I mean, there was literally blood, sweat, and tears mm -hmm. shed in that gym. And nobody quit, everybody kept pushing. And not only pushing themselves, but pushing each other. And so I think they can take this with them as a very um, strong growing experience for them. And they'll only get better from here. And of course, uh, the next group of athletes that will be going through this camp starts in just a couple of days. Yeah. Uh, what did you learn this first week that you know maybe you're going to adjust, do something different the second week, or is it this system works? We're going to stay with what we did the first week. Well, we put together a, a program before the first camp started, and we had to make a few adjustments as we went, um, and I think. Uh, we'll continue to make adjustments, but for the most part, things are working well. Um, it's, it's a challenge training up to 30 people at once, all mm -hmm. at one time for just a couple of us, but we found ways to give everyone equal amount of attention, and I feel that uh, we just keep doing what we're doing, and we're going to grow and we're going to get better as we go along, and that that's without, goes without saying. But I think the program we have set up is tremendous and anyone would benefit from coming here. Any professional wrestler from, from one year's experience to 15 years experience, we had guys from both right. ends of the spectrum and they all grew and they all got better. 
Well, and, and wrestlers, of course, from, from all parts of the world will have the opportunity to continue to come here and train, whether it's NJPW1972.com or across any of our social media sites, you'll be able to find out how you can sign up for future training camp opportunities. It is certainly one you will not want to miss. Now, you are not just looking sharp in a suit. You are not just blowing the whistle and coaching athletes. You are also competing. Tomorrow, you make your New Japan debut. At Strong Style Evolve, teaming with your SoCal Uncensored partners, Christopher Daniels and Frankie Kazarian, six-man tag team action against Rocky Romero and Rapongi 3K. How is that going to feel for Scorpio Sky? I've always, from the moment I stepped onto a wrestling mat, wanted to compete in Japan. I always, always wanted to get here. And so now it's surreal that I'm actually here. And tomorrow I'll get to walk out, step in that ring, and actually perform. Uh, so I'm really, really, really looking forward to it. There's no better way I'd rather do it than with my brothers, Frankie Kazarian and Christopher Daniels, SoCal mm -hmm. Uncensored, here in SoCal. It's like, you know, things are, you couldn't have written this. I mean, this is like a book, you know. What a story. And uh, Rapungi 3K, um, Rocky Romero, it's going to be a tough, tough, tough match, but I think it'll be enjoyable for the fans and hopefully we'll come out on top. Well, you're certainly familiar with competing against Rocky. Yeah. Uh, first time seeing uh, Yo and Show in action. Uh, but uh, you bring a wealth of experience to the ring tomorrow, and you continue to bring a wealth of experience to these training camps. I just thank you so much for having us here, letting the cameras come in, let the New Japan World fans get a chance to see and, and uh, experience some of what you're doing here, and just continued success. Thank you very much. Appreciate All right. It. That's Scorpio Sky, everybody, right here from the New Japan Dojo.